Hello everyone. In this video, we are providing some of the most frequently asked questions from the Accenture Technical Assessment Exam, specifically focused on the topic of network and security fundamentals. We will cover commonly asked 60 plus practice questions along with detailed answers and explanations to help you prepare for your upcoming exam. Please note, these are practice questions intended for reference purposes only. First topic is basics of networking. Which protocol is responsible for assigning IP addresses dynamically in a network? Options. A. HTTP. B. FTP. C. DHCP. D. ICMP. Answer. C. DHCP. Explanation. DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, automatically assigns IP addresses to devices in a network. Which layer of the OSI model is responsible for reliable communication and flow control? Options. A. Transport. B. Network. C. Data Link. D. Application. Answer. A. Transport. Explanation The transport layer layer 4 manages flow control error checking and reliable communication using protocols like TCP. What is the main function of a router in a network? Options A. Broadcast packets B. Block unauthorized access C. Forward data packets between networks D. Translate domain names to IP addresses Answer C. Forward data packets between networks Explanation Routers connect multiple networks and direct data traffic between them. Which of the following is a valid IP address in IPv4 format? Options A. 300.168.0.1 B. 192.168.1.1 C. 255.255.500 D. 127.0.1.300 Answer B. 192 D. D Explanation IPv4 addresses consist of 4 octets 0 to 255, so only B is valid. In which OSI layer does the HTTP protocol operate? Options A. Transport B. Network C. Session D. Application Answer. D. Application Explanation HTTP operates at the application layer, layer 7 of the OSI model. What does the term latency refer to in networking? Options A. The amount of data transmitted B. The time delay in data transmission. C. The speed of the network. D. The number of users on the network. Answer. B. The time delay in data transmission. Explanation. Latency refers to the delay between the request and receipt of data in a network. What device is typically used to extend the range of a wireless network? Options. A. Switch. B. Router. C. Repeater. D. Bridge. Answer. C. Repeater. Explanation. A repeater amplifies signals to extend the range of a wireless network. In the OSI model, which layer is responsible for translating between different data formats? Options. A. Presentation. B. Session. C. Network. D. Transport. Answer. A. Presentation. Explanation. The presentation layer, layer 6, is responsible for data format translation and encryption. What type of network is restricted to a single building or campus? Options. A. WAN, B. LAN, C. PAN, D. MAN. Answer. B. LAN. Explanation. LAN local area network is confined to a small geographical area such as a building. To which class does the IP address 225.101.0.205 belong? Options. A. Class A, B. Class B, C. Class C, D. Class D. Answer. D. Class D. Explanation. The IP address 225.101.0.205 falls within the range of Class D IP addresses, which are from 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. Class D addresses are reserved for multicasting, meaning they are used for sending data to multiple destinations at once, such as in streaming media applications. Here's the IPv4 classes information presented in a table format, including the public IP range, private IP range, subnet mask, and common usage. What technology is used to reduce collisions in Ethernet networks? Options. A. Token ring. B. Hub. C. CSMA CDD broadcast. Answer. C. CSMA CD. Explanation. Carrier sense multiple access collision detection. CSMA CD helps manage data collisions in Ethernet networks. Next topic is network security. Which of the following is a form of two-factor authentication 2FA? Options. A. Password and CAPTCHA. B. Password and fingerprint. C. Username and password. D. Password and PIN. Answer. B. Password and fingerprint. 
Explanation 2 FA involves combining two different types of credentials, such as something you know password and something you have fingerprint. What is the main purpose of a VPN virtual private network? Options A. Increase internet speed. B. Encrypt communication over public networks. C. Block malware. D. Prevent unauthorized users from accessing the LAN. Answer B. Encrypt communication over public networks. Explanation VPN secure communications by encrypting data sent over public networks. Which of the following is considered a strong password policy? Options A. Passwords containing only lowercase letters. B. Passwords of at least 8 characters, including symbols and numbers. C. Passwords that expire every 2 years. D. Passwords that use common dictionary words. Answer. B. Passwords of at least 8 characters, including symbols and numbers. Explanation. Strong passwords should contain a mix of characters, symbols, and numbers. Which protocol is commonly used to secure HTTP traffic? Options. A. S. B. SSL. TLS. C. FTP. D. IMAP. Answer. B. SSL. TLS. Explanation. SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, and TLS, Transport Layer Security, are used to secure HTTP, forming HTTPS. What is a key feature of the Zero Trust Security Model? Options. A. Trust but verify. B. Allow all traffic from internal networks. C. Always verify. Never trust. D. Rely on firewalls alone. Answer. C. Always verify. Never trust. Explanation. The Zero Trust model assumes no one is trusted by default, both inside and outside the network. What type of attack involves overwhelming a network or service with excessive traffic? Options. A. Phishing. B. Man in the middle. C. DOS DOS. D. SQL injection. Answer. C. DOS DOS. Explanation. Denial of service dues and distributed denial of service DDoS attacks flood a network or service with traffic to make it unavailable. A honeypot in network security is options. A. A type of encryption algorithm. B. A decoy system designed to lure attackers. C. A firewall rule. D. A malware scanner. Answer. B. A decoy system designed to lure attackers. Explanation. Honeypots are systems designed to detect, deflect, or study attacks by acting as bait. Which type of attack attempts to intercept and manipulate communication between two parties? Options. A. Phishing. B. Man in the middle. C. Ransomware. D. Brute force. Answer. B. Man in the middle. Explanation. A man-in-the-middle attack occurs when an attacker intercepts and manipulates the communication between two parties. What is the function of a DMZ in a network architecture? Options. A. To isolate internal resources from public access. B. To filter spam emails. C. To block malicious traffic. D. To encrypt internal communications. Answer. A. To isolate internal resources from public access. Explanation. A DMZ demilitarized zone is a network area that is exposed to the public while protecting internal resources. Which of the following is used for establishing a VPN connection? Options A. Nginx B. Zeus C. Haproxy D. OpenSwan Correct answer. D. OpenSwan Explanation OpenSwan is an open-source VPN implementation of the IPsec Internet Protocol Security Protocol. It is commonly used for establishing secure virtual private network VPN connections between different networks. NGNX is a web server and reverse proxy that is primarily used for load balancing and serving web content. Zeus is malware, specifically a banking trojan, not related to VPN connections. Haproxy is a load balancer and proxy server used for distributing network traffic among multiple servers. Which of the following is a method of data encryption? Options A. AES B. SMTP C. FTP D. HTTP Answer A. AES Explanation AE's Advanced Encryption Standard is a widely used encryption algorithm. Next topic is encryption standards and algorithms. What does AE stand for in encryption? Options A. Asynchronous Encryption Standard B. Advanced Encryption Standard C. Algorithmic Encryption Scheme D. Applied Encryption System Answer B. Advanced Encryption Standard Explanation AE's Advanced Encryption Standard is a symmetric encryption algorithm widely used for securing data. Which encryption algorithm uses two different keys for encryption and decryption? Options A. DES B. A's C. RSA D. Blowfish Answer C. RSA Explanation RSA is an asymmetric encryption algorithm that uses a public key for encryption and a private key for decryption. What type of encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption? Options A. Symmetric encryption 
B. Asymmetric encryption. C. Public key encryption. D. Hashing. Answer. A. Symmetric encryption. Explanation. Symmetric encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption, such as AEs and DS. Which of the following encryption methods is considered outdated and vulnerable to attacks? Options. A. AEs. B. RSA. C. DES. D. E. C. T. Answer. C. DES. Explanation. DES data encryption standard has a 56-bit key, which is now considered weak and easily breakable, leading to its replacement by AEs. What is the primary purpose of encryption in data security? Options. A. To compress data for faster transmission. B. To prevent unauthorized access to data. C. To ensure data integrity. D. To detect network intrusions. Answer. B. To prevent unauthorized access to data. Explanation. Encryption converts data into a secure format to prevent unauthorized access. What is the difference between hashing and encryption? Options. A. Hashing is reversible, encryption is not. B. Encryption provides data integrity, hashing provides confidentiality. C. Hashing is irreversible, encryption is reversible. D. Encryption is faster than hashing. Answer. C. Hashing is irreversible, encryption is reversible. Explanation. Hashing creates a fixed size output that cannot be reversed, while encryption can be reversed with the correct key. Which of the following algorithms is a hashing function? Options. A. AEs. B. RSA. C. SHA-256. D-E-E-C. Answer. C. SHA-256. Explanation. SHA-256 secure hash algorithm is a hashing function used to generate fixed size hash values from input data. In encryption, what is a key? Options. A. A device used to encrypt files. B. A random string used to encrypt or decrypt data. C. A mathematical formula that compresses data. D. A digital certificate used to verify identity. Answer. B. A random string used to encrypt or decrypt data. Explanation in encryption, a key is a string of characters used to transform plain text into ciphertext and vice versa. What does the term public key in encryption refer to? Options. A. A key that encrypts data but cannot decrypt it. B. A key that is shared with everyone for encryption purposes. C. A key used to generate random numbers. D. A key that must remain private to the user. Answer. B. A key that is shared with everyone for encryption purposes. Explanation. In public key cryptography, the public key is shared with others for encrypting messages, while the private key is kept secret for decryption. Which encryption algorithm is based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers? Options. A. RSA. B. A's. C. DES. D. X. Answer. A. RSA. Explanation. RSA's security is based on the computational difficulty of factoring large prime numbers. Next topic is network security devices. Which device is primarily used to prevent unauthorized access to or from a private network? Options. A. Switch. B. Firewall. C. Router. D. Hub. Answer. B. Firewall. Explanation. A firewall filters incoming and outgoing network traffic based on security rules. Blocking unauthorized access. What is the function of an intrusion detection system, IDs? Options. A. Block unauthorized traffic. B. Monitor network traffic for suspicious activity. C. Encrypt network data. D. Route network traffic. Answer. B. Monitor network traffic for suspicious activity. Explanation. IDS systems monitor network traffic and detect potential security threats. Which device can automatically block suspicious traffic after detecting it? Options. A. IDs. B. IPs. C. Router. D. Load balancer. Answer. B. IPS. Explanation. An intrusion prevention system, IPS, can actively block malicious traffic in real time after detecting it. Which network security device acts as a proxy and inspects HTTPS traffic? Options. A. Web application firewall WAF. B. Router. C. IDs. D. VPN. Answer. A. Web application firewall WAF. Explanation. A WAF protects web applications by filtering and monitoring HTTP and HTTPS traffic. What is the main function of a load balancer in network security? Options. A. Distribute traffic across multiple servers. B. Encrypt traffic between servers. C. Filter incoming traffic. D. Detect and prevent intrusions. Answer. A. Distribute traffic across multiple servers. Explanation. 
A load balancer ensures that traffic is evenly distributed to prevent server overload. Which device is often deployed to analyze and filter out email-based attacks? Options. A. Firewall. B. Anti-spam gateway. C. Router. D. Switch. Answer. B. Anti-spam gateway. Explanation. Anti-spam gateways filter and block email-based threats like phishing and malware. What does a DMZ demilitarized zone in network security typically contain? Options. A. Public-facing servers. B. Confidential internal databases. C. End-user devices. D. Firewalls and routers. Answer. A. Public-facing servers. Explanation. A DMZ is a segment of a network that hosts public-facing services like web servers while isolating internal resources. A UTM, Unified Threat Management Device, is designed to Options A. Block all incoming traffic. B. Provide a comprehensive set of security features in one device. C. Control routing of traffic between subnets. D. Monitor internal data breaches. Answer B. Provide a comprehensive set of security features in one device. Explanation UTM devices integrate multiple security functions such as firewall, IDS, IPs, antivirus, and VPN into one appliance. Which of the following is an example of a stateful firewall? Options A. A firewall that only examines IP addresses. B. A firewall that tracks the state of active connections. C. A firewall that allows all incoming traffic. D. A firewall that blocks all traffic by default. Answer B. A firewall that tracks the state of active connections. Explanation. Stateful fire. Which device is typically used to connect multiple VLANs, virtual local area networks? Options. A. Router. B. Switch. C. Firewall. D. Load balancer. Answer. A. Router. Explanation. Routers are used to connect different VLANs and facilitate communication between them. Next topic is attack types. What is the primary goal of a ransomware attack? Options. A. To disable a system with excessive traffic. B. To steal sensitive data. C to encrypt a victim's data, and demand payment for decryption. D. To exploit a software vulnerability for remote access. Answer. C. To encrypt a victim's data, and demand payment for decryption. Explanation. Ransomware attacks encrypt data on a victim's system, demanding a ransom for the decryption key. In which attack does an attacker try all possible password combinations to gain unauthorized access? Options. A. Phishing. B. SQL injection. C. Brute force. D. Man in the middle. Answer C. Brute force explanation. In a brute force attack, the attacker systematically tries every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. What type of attack targets vulnerabilities in web applications by injecting malicious code into a database query? Options. A. Phishing. B. Cross-site scripting. XSS. C. CQL injection. D. Denial of service. Answer. C. CQL injection. Explanation, SQL injection exploits vulnerabilities in web applications by injecting malicious equal queries into the input fields, manipulating the database. Which type of attack redirects traffic from a legitimate site to a malicious one, usually by compromising DNS servers? Options, A, DNS spoofing, B, man in the middle, C, phishing, D, CQL injection. Answer, A, DNS spoofing. Explanation, DNS spoofing redirects traffic by altering DNS entries, leading users to malicious websites instead of legitimate ones. What is the main goal of a social engineering attack? Options. A. To exploit software vulnerabilities. B. To trick individuals into revealing sensitive information. C. To flood a network with traffic. D. To execute malicious code on a server. Answer. B. To trick individuals into revealing sensitive information. Explanation. Social engineering attacks manipulate individuals into divulging confidential information, such as passwords or account details. What is a buffer overflow attack? Options. A. An attack that overwhelms a network with traffic. B. An attack that exploits a vulnerability by sending more data than a buffer can handle. C. An attack that targets weak passwords. D. An attack that encrypts the victim's files. Answer. B. An attack that exploits a vulnerability by sending more data than a buffer can handle. Explanation. A buffer overflow occurs when an attacker sends more data than a program can store in its buffer, leading to the execution of malicious code. What type of malware restricts access to data or systems until a ransom is paid? Options. A. Trojan. B. Worm. C. Ransomware. B. Spyware. Answer. C. Ransomware. Explanation. Ransomware encrypts data and demands payment from victims for the decryption key. What kind of attack involves repeatedly sending ping requests to a network to overwhelm the target system? 
Options. A. DDoS. B. Skew injection. C. Man in the middle. D. Trojan. Answer. A. DDoS. Explanation A distributed denial of service. DDoS. Attack overwhelms a system by sending a flood of ping requests from multiple sources. In a phishing attack, what is typically impersonated to trick users? Options. A. A hardware device. B. A legitimate website or service. C. A software application. D. A local network. Answer. B. A legitimate website or service. Explanation. Phishing attacks impersonate trusted entities, such as banks or social media platforms, to trick users into providing sensitive information. What type of attack exploits a vulnerability that is unknown to the software vendor and has no fix available? Options. A. Zero-day attack. B. Man in the middle. C. DDoS. D. Trojan. Answer. A. Zero-day attack. Explanation. Zero-day attacks exploit software vulnerabilities that are unknown to the vendor, making them difficult to defend against since no patches or fixes are available. Next topic is firewalls. What is the main purpose of a firewall in network security? Options. A. Encrypt network traffic. B. Block unauthorized access to or from a private network. C. Distribute network traffic. D. Monitor traffic for threats. Answer. B. Block unauthorized access to or from a private network. Explanation. Firewalls inspect incoming and outgoing traffic to block unauthorized access based on predefined security rules. Which type of firewall operates at the application layer of the OSI model? Options. A. Packet filtering firewall. B. Stateful firewall. C. Application layer firewall. D. Circuit level gateway. Answer. C. Application layer firewall. Explanation. Application layer firewalls inspect traffic at the application layer, filtering data based on specific applications or services. What is the difference between a stateful firewall and a stateless firewall? Options. A. Stateless firewalls track the state of network connections. B. Stateful firewalls remember the state of active connections. C. Stateful firewalls do not filter traffic. D. Stateless firewalls encrypt network traffic. Answer. B. Stateful firewalls remember the state of active connections. Explanation. Stateful firewalls monitor the state of active connections and make filtering decisions based on the context of the traffic. Which type of firewall examines the data content payload of packets? Options. A. Packet filtering firewall. B. Deep packet inspection. DPI firewall. C. Circuit level firewall. D. Stateless firewall. Answer. B. Deep packet inspection. DPI firewall. Explanation. DPI firewalls analyze both the header and the data content payload of packets for detailed filtering and threat detection. A firewall rule configured to block all inbound traffic except HTTP and HTTPS would be an example of options. A. Implicit deny. B. Explicit allow. C. Stateful filtering. D. Application layer filtering. Answer. B. Explicit allow. Explanation. This rule explicitly allows HTTP port 80 and HTTPS port 443 traffic while blocking all other incoming traffic. In what scenario would a firewall be configured in a deny all mode? Options. A. When allowing unrestricted network access. B. When traffic is only allowed if explicitly permitted. C. When all traffic is filtered based on content. D. When ensuring performance optimization. Answer. B. When traffic is only allowed if explicitly permitted. Explanation. A deny all configuration blocks all traffic unless specific rules are created to allow it. Which type of firewall operates by analyzing the headers of individual packets? Options. A. Application layer firewall. B. Packet filtering firewall. C. Stateful firewall. D. Proxy firewall. Answer. B. Packet filtering firewall. Explanation. Packet filtering firewalls operate by analyzing the headers of packets, such as IP addresses, ports, and protocol types, to allow or block traffic. What is a proxy firewall? Options. A. A firewall that inspects and filters traffic at the network layer. B. A firewall that acts as an intermediary between clients and servers. C. A firewall that prevents internal users from accessing external websites. D. A firewall that blocks all incoming connections. Answer. B. A firewall that acts as an intermediary between clients and servers. Explanation. A proxy firewall filters traffic by serving as a middleman, managing requests and responses between clients and external servers, which firewall architecture is often used to protect internal networks from external threats while allowing public access to certain resources like web servers. Options. A. DMZ. B. Stateful firewall. C. VPN. DNAT. Answer. A. DMZ. Explanation. 
A DMZ demilitarized zone architecture places public-facing servers in a separate network segment to protect internal resources from external threats. In firewall rule configuration, what does implicit deny mean? Options. A. All traffic is allowed unless explicitly blocked. B. All traffic is blocked unless explicitly allowed. C. Traffic from external sources is always blocked. D. Traffic is encrypted by default. Answer. B. All traffic is blocked unless explicitly allowed. Explanation. Implicit deny means that all traffic is blocked by default, and only explicitly allowed traffic can pass through the firewall. In our next video, we will be covering cloud-related exam questions with detailed answers and explanations. Stay tuned for more helpful content to aid your exam preparation.